Hey, welcome back for another installment of the Crazy American Cracker and Assistant. And we're here with night number two, or night number 23 for some of us. And <clears throat> here we go. And tonight, we have a special for you. We're going to do the cheese and the cookies at the same time. Well, one after the other, not at the same time. Probably wouldn't taste too good if you had the cheese and the cookie in your mouth all at once. So, <clears throat> we did number one last night. Let's do number two. And that is right there. Would you like the honor? Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. Better than you can, which doesn't look like it. There you go. Well, you done it much better than I did. And this one is, what do we got? Aged cheddar. Ooh, aged cheddar. Does it say where it's from? It doesn't, does it? No. No? What does the box tell you? Mm, nothing. Doesn't say country of origin on them. Just told us where they were coming from. This is a white cheddar. And a little firmer yeah. than the uh, one last night to eat them. That's a great cheddar flavor. Very pronounced. Well, I'm not the cheese connoisseur that you are, but. Mm hmm. And <clears throat> white cheddar is a little. Not for me. Ow. White cheddar will taste a little different uh, than the yellow cheddars that we're accustomed to even though it's really just food coloring that they uh, put in there. But I liked it. It was firm. That it was. It had a nice sharpness to it. That it did. It wasn't overly sharp, overly pungent. Um, it wasn't uh, what we are accustomed to as a mild. It was a little more than a mild, but not a, you know, like it wasn't a New York sharp. It was just a, a good sharp. It was a, I thought it was a good cheese. Would you put it on a, a cheese tray? Oh, yes. That would go very well with some uh, uh, different smoked meats. Uh, if you had a meat and cheese tray. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to do a cookie. Dessert. Love, love the cookie. Number two. Grab number two right there. Look at that one. Here's the cookie for number two. It looks like candy. <clears throat> and last night we uh, provided information on how to get a hold of this lady. It's Cooley, C-O-L-E-Y, apostrophe S, Cookie Co. I correct myself. Company, yeah. Yeah. Um, on Facebook. You can find her on Facebook. And she actually is going to be, um, she's going to be somewhere tomorrow selling the most cutest little gingerbread cookies. How I always get the biggest piece? Because you're bigger than me. Hmm. In more ways than one. This is a family show. Uh, also, mm. the, um, I know these first two cookies haven't looked like anything, you know, like super out there. And I hope some of these other ones will because I have seen some of her work. And uh, i seen some of the cookies. Look like a plaid shirt, you know. Mm -hmm. that, green, green and plaid for <sighs> Calvin's birthday. Holy moly, you ought to see these cookies. Too beautiful to eat, but <laughs> you know me. Brought me that big mouth. I know. This one's almost got like a little lemon mm -hmm. flavor to it. It does. Lime, lemon lime or something. Mm -hmm. Really good. The yeah. Icing. Yes, in the icing. I was mm -hmm. thinking that. And so last night we thought all the cookies would probably taste the same. Just have a different design on them. 
That had a little, uh, little lemony to it. Yeah, a little zest, a little flavor. Yeah, very delicious. Yep. So that's uh, that's the show for tonight, folks. Bleep, 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 bleep. That's all, folks. Anyway, that was my little porky pig, and it didn't <laughs> didn't go out too well. <laughs> now you see what I put up with. Yeah. All right. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ooh. McDonald's has McRibs. Go get you some. McDonald's does not sponsor our show. <laughs> <laughs>